In this video tutorial, we will learn how to add new symbols to the text symbol palette. Since this process is a bit long, we have divided it into five steps to implement it. The first step is to customize the special font file. The name of the special font file is special.src, and it is in the Crea load point, common files, text, usaci folder. We can copy it to an empty temporary folder first. Open it with Notepad. Describe the required symbols according to the font definition and give it a code number. Here code 1549A represents the character where 154 is the decimal code and 9A is the equivalent hexadecimal coder. Please remember this code 154. It will be used in the following steps. Height and width value is to define the total number of grid spaces in the vertical and horizontal direction. The maximum is 63. M. This command moves an imaginary pan to the grid point. The, this command draws a line from the current position to grid point. We could visit the document Creo Parametric Installation and Administration Guide by clicking File, Help, Reference, Installation, and Administration Guide. To find more information regarding a font definition, the second step is to compile the special font file. To compile the special font file, we need to copy the compile font.exe executable from the credo load point, x86 ewin64 obj directory into the same directory where the custom font source files reside. Then run the command prompt as administrator. CD it to the directory where the custom font source files reside. Compile the files with the syntax compile font special.src special.fnt. The result will generate two new files, scratch.ndx and special.fnt. The third step is to create an image for the text symbol. We could start with a bitmap picture. Open it with Paint Program. Resize image pixels to 24x16 and draw the shape of the symbol. Save it as GIF type and type name is sp underline symbol code 154. In the next step, we need to copy and paste the customized files into the specific Creo installation folder. Please take care to back up the original files to avoid any errors. We need to copy the special.src file to Creoload Point, Common Files, Text, Usaci folder. Copy scratch.ndx and special.fnt files to Creoload Point, Common Files, x86u and 64, Text, Usaci folder. Copy the image file to Creoload Point, Common Files, Text, Resource folder. 
In the last step, we need to define a text symbol palette layout file. Here is an example of a layout file. We just need to add the symbol code 154 at the end of the line. And then, launch Creo and add a config option custom text symbol palette file to the full path of the symbol palette layout file. Finally, all setup steps have been completed. Once we restart Credo, we can start using it. We need to set the details option symbol font to legacy. And then we can see it in the text symbol dialog and insert it into the text.